Qatar is a developing nation um, with um, with ambitions and, 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 a, and a very ambitious build program. And naturally, when you're bringing so many people into into a country, issues issues exist. Um, but I would say that the uh, the government is, is, is very aware of, of the issues and is proactively looking to uh, to to, um, to resolve them. Six people. Six now people. only four because uh, other two people go a little bit. Okay. Now only four. I need my uh, my family need uh, this work. That's why I'm here, and uh, that's all. You, if you add to, if we're talking about the blue collar workers, which primarily the, the, the mandatory standards are about, um, more often than not, they're sending a large proportion of their salary um, back to their homes and families. So they don't have a lot of a lot of a lot of cash in their own pockets, which which brings its own problems. Um, in addition to sending money back to the families, they are also, many, many workers are repaying debt, recruitment debt, um, which they, they've had to pay to recruitment agents in their home, in their home country. Um, we, are, we are actively going to the sending countries and we're trying to find um, ethical recruitment agents that don't charge fees. So at least this, this one problem um, won't exist for, 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 for the workers. Without a doubt, the, the Western, um, the, the, the way in which the West looks at the issue is, is, is often inaccurate and, and, and the figures are, are generalised. Um, one of the ways we do this is through the um, through the, the Qatar Foundation Mandatory Standards, which was which were published in April 2013. Um, the standards set the the tone um, for for our contracting partners. They set requirements that they must fulfil. We wanted to uh, create a, 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 a set of requirements to which the, the contractors would, would have to adhere, um, and from that, from from then in implementing these these uh, these, these standards, um, we can then measure our contractors against them, and we can, through working with them, we can identify who we want to work with in the future.